Channel 13 Action News this morning in high definition with Casey Smith and Lisa Rimelon. Weather first with meteorologist Mike Cholino. Problem solver traffic with Kim Smith. And breaking news with Captain Paul Hollandet in the Action News Talk. You owe, maybe, worth right. a try. I'll try. Okay, I have to tell you yes. that there have been times I've gotten in my car because I've been having a chocolate fix. I've, I've gotten out of bed because I was having a chocolate fix and drove away to get the chocolate. And more than that, an FOM chocolate fix because <laughs> the stuff they make in Henderson, yeah. the best. I was banging on their door. They wouldn't let me in at midnight, you know. They called security. That was you. You know, that we, we got a call about that. Who's that on the stand? Yeah, I almost made the news. <laughs> we got Tina Patel. She is live at <laughs> Ethel M's this morning, and um, you're our new best friend. Oh, very nice. Because we know you're going to bring stuff back for us. Yes, and I'm going to try to put your name in with security, so then they'll just let you come and go as you please. Take a look at this. This is actually, it's one of their factory tables, but they've already spread some caramel. We're making brittle. It's like the prettiest table I've ever seen in my life. Can I just take this home, like just wheel this like it is to my house? Why not? <laughs> I love it. This is Jim. She's one of the chocolatier here. Now tell all the people at home, because you have probably the best job in the world. I sure do. Um, so I work here, and my main job is to develop new products and bring it to the factory, and we make the magic. So when you come up with new products, and actually you have a new product we want to tell her about, about for football season, but um, do you just dream as you walk through, maybe we should put that in chocolate, maybe we should put that in chocolate? Matter of fact, sometimes I do. Well, look, if you're chocolate, I was out with some friends, and we thought about, hmm, beer and chocolate, what a combination. You know, because the chocolate is more like feminine and really popular among, like, you know, ladies. So I want to do something for, like, male-oriented for, you know, fall season, which is football. So we have a beer and brittle combination. We put them together into collection. So um, definitely we're to check it out later. It's a fabulous. And we're going to actually make a little, this is what the brittle looks like when it's all nice and done. Look, actually, look, why show you one piece? Look, there's a whole thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Our cameraman we kept on the other side of the glass because I didn't want to share. I'll be honest. But we're going to actually try to uh, to put some stuff here and try to make it like that. But we want everybody to know that the beer and brittle is now at their stores from now until October. A good combination beer chocolate at all. The beer gets burned away. So you can have your kids eat it. That's correct. Okay. So unfortunately. Yeah. Actually, when you, uh, well, this actually contains beer, but because we evaporate all the alcohol content. So the good taste, no hangover. It tastes really like very caramel, like deep caramel note. It's, it's very yummy. We're going to talk all about that, and we want people to come down and take tours because tours here in Henderson completely free. So we've got all the information on our website. We're going to be here all morning long. I'm going to be getting my hands in everything that I can until they kick me out. We're going to hopefully make it till 7 a.m., guys. But right now, we'll stick with uh, we'll send it back to you. Thought I was the only one that combined chocolate and beer. I think that's <laughs> yeah, okay. cool. This is more an official way, not just shoving oh. beer and chocolate in your mouth. This would be more of a sophisticated way to have your beer and chocolate. Great way to watch football. It I'll is. tell you that. All it right. is. Very classy way. We're going to check in with Tina a lot this morning. A whole lot. Yeah. Well, still ahead this Okay, it's 548. There might be some traffic making a beeline to Henderson after you see where Tina Patel is this morning. I know, I'm waiting for her to bring it back here. She better. Beeline it right back here because she is, uh, she's working hard over at Ethel M's Chocolate Factory this morning. Hey, good morning, my friend Tina. Hey, guess what I learned? That if I put my hands on things, then they can't sell it, which means I have to bring it back. Take a look. I've got Jim with me. She's one of the chocolatiers. And then Mike and Joe are making brittle as we speak. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see just how good and pretty it looks as it comes out of there. So now, Jim, one of the things we were talking about is there's other chocolate companies out there, but what these guys do, what you guys do is everything's natural, everything's made by hand. That's correct. Um, you know, for look at the brittle. We only have really natural ingredients like water, sugar, a little salt, um, soy lecithin, and lots of butter. And it uh, looks good. <laughs> and pecans. So we don't use any like artificial ingredients. It's all natural, fresh. So um, and that's why when you buy it, you want to eat it. You don't want to let it sit in your house. That's right. That's why we um, have a short shelf life product because they're all natural. And uh, they go back to be bad, as to fast. And we're getting into the time of year where this is really, it's a good gift to give. It's a good thing to have in your house. Yeah, yep, that's right. 
and the holiday season. And what I love about June is she's actually the one that came up with the idea of selling this brittle with beer chocolate. It's their new item, perfect for football season. Okay, so now that it's all kind of spread out, is there anything I can do to help, or would I just be in the way? Right now, just kind of stay away. Because <laughs> it's hot, is that it? That's right. I don't want to let the, you know, like you get burned yourself. And so now what they're going to do, they pour the brittle uh, bath on the cooling uh, um, table. So it's going to cool down like in five minutes or so. It, and then, it's the patience of standing back here and waiting that is killing me. You can smell it, right? I can smell it. I wish our viewers could. But here's what I want to tell our viewers is that you can come by any time. You can take a tour, and you're actually going to be on the other side of the glass where our photographer is. So you can watch them do this, and then when you walk through... Free samples at the end, all free. It's the best thing ever. I don't know why I'm not here every day. You guys might start seeing me here every day. I'm just going to warn you about that now. Okay. I'm going to give you only one sample a day. One sample a day. All right. But, you guys, I am here. I am definitely going to try to bring back some so all of you guys can enjoy it. And, and all of our viewers, come over here to Henderson because it's very cool that we have something like this in our own backyard. We're going to send it back to you right now. All right, Tina Thanks. We'll check in with you here in just a little bit. Only Tina Patel would go to a chocolate factory and get cut off on the first day. I know, exactly. Remember Le your friends, though. Le exactly. Absolutely. It is uh, 551. We'll